Welcome to our introduction to ATEX video and congratulations on the purchase of your new Space Vac ATEX cleaning system. Cleaning and working in ATEX rated environments requires both specialist equipment and an understanding of how to stay safe when operating it. In this video we will look at what ATEX actually is, how combustible dust explosions occur, some examples of ATEX certified environments, as well as a look at the features of Space Vac that make our systems safe for use in these highly specialized environments. ATEX is originally an abbreviation of a French term, and it means that the atmosphere within a building is hazardous and potentially explosive due to the presence of combustible dusts and gases. In very simple terms, where you see the term ATEX, it relates to the designation of a particular area within a building and the rules that govern what can happen within that area. So, how do ATEX explosions occur? Let's start at the beginning. You are probably aware of what is known as the fire triangle. These are the three elements that are required to make fire. Those three elements are the presence of oxygen, a source of ignition and fuel to burn. In the example of lighting a match, the ignition is provided by the friction on the box, the oxygen is present in the room and the fuel is the match itself. A similar concept exists to explain how ATEX explosions occur. This concept is known as the ATEX pentagon. Here you will see the three familiar elements from our fire triangle. However, when you add in confinement and dispersion, you have the five elements that combine to create an ATEX explosion. All five of these elements are required to create a dust explosion. But what does that look like in reality? Dust explosions occur when fuel, in the form of our combustible dust, is dispersed into oxygen. This fuel then builds up in concentration within a confined area. Explosions can occur when this buildup of material in the atmosphere comes into contact with an ignition source such as a spark or static electricity. When this happens, the dust itself doesn't just burn however, it actually explodes. Remember, the larger the surface area of the fuel, the greater its combustibility is. Dusts by their nature feature a much greater surface area than a solid block of the same material would. In this animation we can see how ATEX explosions occur in real life and how the sequence of events can trigger even more catastrophic secondary explosions. Combustible dusts have built up and dispersed in the oxygen within the confined area inside this piece of machinery. When a source of ignition is introduced this triggers an initial explosion within the piece of machinery. What makes ATEX explosions so dangerous however, is how they then expand, fueled by the abundant fuel found both dispersed in the atmosphere and accumulated throughout the facility. Further, shockwaves can shake loose accumulated fuel, dispersing it into the air, increasing its surface area and adding more highly combustible fuel to the atmosphere increasing the risk of larger, secondary explosions. So, now we know how dust explosions are caused, let's examine some of the areas where ATEX explosions can occur. While explosive atmospheres will usually be clearly marked, not all clients will realize that they are accumulating combustible dust so it's important to recognize potential risks in your day-to-day -day cleaning work. Let's start with the food and drink industry. In this industry, ATEX rated areas are commonly found where food and drink products are processed, stored, and packaged. Bakeries, pet food manufacturers and even coffee grinders are great examples of ATEX environments in the food and drink sector. As you can see there are many common products and ingredients that are defined as combustible dusts including flour, sugar, spices, cocoa powder, cornstarch, dairy products, and yeast. The industrial manufacturing industry is another common example of an ATEX rated area. Manufacturing in factories, wood shops and mills will often result in the creation of a large amount of waste material such as sawdust, metal filings and other dusts such as fiberglass, plastics and other materials being released into the air. As you can see, there are many different materials that are defined as combustible and thus present a risk to life. These materials are all highly explosive and require regular removal from the facility to prevent the risk of potential explosion. The petrochemical industry also features areas or zones that are considered ATEX rated. These areas will include chemical plants, pharmaceutical production facilities and even oil rigs, where the dangers posed by explosions are even more catastrophic. These highly specialized dusts and waste products require careful management to ensure the risk of explosion is minimized at all times. 
Finally, one other sector where ATEX zones are commonly found is within the paper and card industries. The creation, recycling, processing and forming of paper and card products for the packaging and print industries all utilize and generate a lot of combustible products and waste materials. As you can see, dusts from the paper itself, along with glue and other finishing products used in the manufacture of paper and card products present a range of hazards to operators working in the area. The SpaceVac cleaning system was the first system of its kind anywhere in the world to be certified as safe for use in ATEX certified and has a number of features that make it the perfect tool for cleaning these hazardous materials from the safety of the ground. Firstly, all of SpaceVac's ATEX systems are equipped with a range of conductive and anti-static brushes to easily vacuum up dust and waste materials. ATEX legislation states that dust should be vacuumed rather than brushed away, as the brushing motion further disperses the dust into the environment. Whereas vacuuming removes the dust much more quickly and effectively. Next, our ATEX cleaning poles and heads are all made from 100% carbon meaning they are fully conductive. This means that any static electricity runs through the poles and along the entire length of the system until it is safely earthed via the power lead on the vacuum. This eradicates any chance of creating a spark and potentially igniting a fire or explosion. Non-ATEX cleaning poles should never be used in these environments. In addition, all of these cleaning poles and accessories are held in place with our secure dual button safety locking mechanism. This device ensures that the pole system not only stays firmly in place during operation, reducing the risk of elements falling, but also provides a continuous internal connection throughout the pole ensuring total conductivity throughout. Before you get to work cleaning with your new system, it is important to note that any ATEX cleaning system must be paired with a vacuum that is also appropriately rated for the area that you are working in. Cleaning with the wrong vacuum will result in you creating your own ATEX zone within the confines of your vacuum, which can in itself lead to an explosion on site. Your local SpaceVac representative will be able to advise you on suitable models for use, but please note SpaceVac do offer the Titan vacuum. The Titan is a powerful ATEX rated vacuum, packed with innovative features such as the tool holders and designed to pair perfectly with our ATEX high-level cleaning products. Finally, as noted in our video on creating a safe working environment, it's important to always be equipped in appropriate PPE when cleaning in ATEX certified areas. In addition to the use of a high-vis vest or jacket to be visible to others working in the area, when working in combustible environments, we also recommend the use of anti-static coveralls and rubber palm gloves to provide a non-conductive layer between you and the pole system. Be sure to seal your coveralls correctly using the sticky strip provided. Finally, a hard hat or bump cap will also help to protect you against falling debris while cleaning at height along with a pair of well-fitted safety goggles. We hope that this video has been a useful introduction to ATEX and the SpaceVac ATEX system. As I said at the start of this clip, working in these highly specialized areas requires a good understanding on how to stay safe, so please be sure to consult an expert if you have any additional questions or concerns. In the meantime, if you haven't already done so, please be sure to click ahead to our clip on how to assemble your new SpaceVac ATEX system for the first time ready for use.